Hi, this is Amy, and this is Smarter Gmail, Lesson 5, and today we are going to talk about canned responses. So a canned response is, the use of it is for something that you type all the time, and you don't want to have to type the text over and over again. So if you remember from the last lesson, we went in and we turned on a mail lab. So I want you to go back and do those same steps again. So from your Gmail inbox, I want you to go to your gear and settings. Now we're going to go back to labs, and this time we're going to look for one called canned responses. We're going to enable it, and then don't forget to click save changes at the bottom. It's kind of confusing because sometimes you have to click that, and sometimes you don't. And when you enable a lab or disable a lab, that's a time when you have to click save changes. So once you get that saved, you're going to go back to your inbox, and we're going to work on composing a new canned response. So. Let's say that you are responsible for answering questions about a specific topic. Let's say that when people have to get into a certain system in your business or your school or district, they email you. And the answer is always the same. You get the same question all the time. So the answer to that question is this. All right, so I have typed a nice response here. And now I'm going to save this response as a canned response so that I can send it over and over again and then in the next part of this series I'm actually going to show you how to send this automatically so that it really is your automatic email filter genie. So I'm going to click my down arrow down here and go to canned responses and I'm going to choose save new canned response. So see how this little gray area this is insert so these are ones I already have made and this is save so I'm going to the bottom option it says new canned response and now I'm gonna call this um, eduphoria so I um, made the text of this email you know just silly but it but it matches something for eduphoria for me and that's gonna trigger that name in my head so it's called eduphoria now and let's see what happens so I can just close this email no biggie because you probably already know that anytime I close that email it goes right to drafts so it's there either way but just to prove I don't have any tricks up my sleeve I'm gonna discard that draft so that you know that's actually gone now I'm gonna compose I'm gonna come down to where I want the body of my message to go I'm gonna hit my down arrow again and go to canned responses and I'm gonna choose eduphoria and as you can see the canned response that we just made popped right in there so now I can just address this email put in my subject send it off and I don't have to type that content that text every single time um, I hope that helps and is something new for you. That's canned responses through Gmail. Thanks and have a good day.